Hi, today we are going to discuss how to create a template. And to create a template, we will require a template type. And whenever we build a our first project, there is a first set of template and first set of template type will be automatically deployed to our AM server. So to create your uh, a custom template, so you can click here Adobe Experience Manager. You can click in the general this hammer icon, then click on the general section, then you will see templates. Click on the templates, then you will see your project name. Go inside the project, then you can click create. By default, if you see, there is two types of template type already there. Uh, let me reload. Sorry. By default, there are two types of template. Uh, one is content page which is by default uh, which is an empty page template type and second part is web variation web variation is actually used for creating an experience fragment pages okay we will create a new template type uh, sorry we will create a new template called product page template okay uh, or we'll create a category page template instead of product page we'll create a category page i'll create so to create a template, we will require a template type. What is a template type? Template type is a template of template. And by default, there, is, there are two types of template type will be uh, already present in your server. Or even you do your first deployment, you will get these two template type. Okay. So I'm selecting the page as the template type. Uh, I'm not creating experience fragment. Experience fag fragment is required for experience fragment template type and a page is used for creating the page template type. I'll select the page template type, click next. I'll give a name, something called category page. It will be the title and because it will be part of template, I'm not giving the name. But if you, if you are following a naming convention, you can add template as well, category page template. Uh, this is used to create a category page. Okay. I'm adding a description as well. I'm creating. Then I click hit uh, open. So when we open the template type, by default, it will land on its structure format. Okay. So it shows how the template structure will be. So there is a drag component here. You can add component onto your template as well, which will form the structure of your template. And there are initial sections. So there is uh, basically there is three section in your template when you create a new template. One is initial uh, initial section. The naming convention uh, is here itself. Uh, not to get confused. Something called initial page properties. Okay. So there is something called initial section. Then second part is the policy, which tells or which denotes what kind of rules we can provide to this particular template. Third is the structure. Okay, structure denotes like what will be the page structure with it for that particular template. So, for example, for a category page, let's assume at the top there will be a header fragment, uh, header component. So that will be part of experience fragment. So already there is a experience fragment by default comes with the page. You can click setting you can hard code your header experience fragment hard code in the sense you can give your experience fragment path here itself by browsing and once it has been given right whenever you are creating a page automatically by default by default you will get the header component okay now see uh so with this, we are able to create the first template. And if you want to modify the template, you can always go to the initial page properties to modify any of the values, which will reflect whenever we are creating a page out of this template, all those pages will have all these initial values, whatever we are going to set as part of the initial page properties. Okay. I'm canceling it. I'm not adding any other information. Then second part, we will just see quickly what is the policy page policy. I'll go to the page policy. So by default, there is a generic page policy that is already added here. 
okay and there is a policy description and the same generic policy is being used in three other template type as well okay and here we can provide client libraries as well at the template level which means whenever any page is getting created this particular client library will be loaded onto that particular page okay similarly we can provide a uh, page head javascript page head in the this means any client lib you are providing here that client lib javascript will be loaded at the head section of that particular template page or that particular page used or created by this particular template okay uh, and you can enable this to enable this particular javascript tag with a async attribute async attribute okay uh, if i hover on this also it is uh, already telling that uh, that will be loaded asynchronously that means there will be async attribute will be added to the script tag similarly we can provide a other client lib if you want here uh, then we can provide uh, any selector if you want to provide at the main content level as well now there is second tab is a seo seo related uh, one section is there you can use this then the third part is style so the way we are using the style variation for the component level similarly we can do for the page level as well you can add the default classes even you can add multiple group with multiple style as well i'm not modifying anything here as of now cancelling now the part is where you have to add the policies so by default if you see there are a lot of component it is visible as part of this container this means these are the component allowed to be placed on the page having this category page template to change it let's assume uh, we have created a new set of component which have a different component group so that component group we have to select currently if you see only weekend site project content content group only is selected with having 20 component and you see all those component name you can select a single component if you see here there is a single component is selected you can select a component group category and even you can select each of those component from different different group category everything is allowed uh, so you uh, here you can provide the allowed component which are which will be allowed to be placed on the page having this particular uh, template okay now default component you can add uh, multiple def uh, default components so in the page currently if you see there is a image component experience fragment that is uh, added and there is a content fragment also can be added but it, it all depends how do you want to customize it okay and all of these are getting stored as a policy so whenever we add this and we are saving it it will go and update at the page content policy now there is some responsive setting you can add it container setting you can add it styles also can be added at this level also if you want this is this will be remember this is the container level of styles okay now i'm going cancel so the same thing we are going to see so i have already shown you initial pro page properties page policy Publish template in this is this particular template currently in author. Once we publish this, it will go to the publish server. Uh, there is no other option to discuss. These are just uh, uh, like these are not useful as of now. So now I'll go to the CRX3. The same template we will see at this level. Okay. Templates are part of the cons. So under root, open cons, WKND setting, WCM template. So if I open the template, if you see the category page has been created here. Okay. There is an initial section, policy section, structure. Thumbnail is just the thumbnail for showing the template view as part of the while creating it. So this is not important, but if you give the thumbnail, it uh, improves the authoring experience. It enhances the user experience of, of the authoring part. Okay. In the initial uh, part if i open there is a jcr content and here all that informations are already provided cq template okay and in the initial there is a root container all those details are there so you, you can always refer to this structure okay and if we, i go to the policy right we will have that policy if you see this is the policy okay 
this is the policy name that has been created and this policy will be there let me see under the policy tab wk and d component so there will be a policy for that okay let let's match the policy uh, i think the policy were there right 1574 at the last 800 so page policy let's see whether i was i am able to get it uh, container level huh, 800 you see right for the container level that policy is defined and in that policy see what are the components are allowed group wk and d sites project content and there is a container also are allowed so two of the uh, component a set so one is a group another is one co uh, component so these are two set uh, that is allowed there is a description and you can see all other details also the name is space content policy whatever we have seen in the policies tab so similarly remember so whenever we are creating a pay policy that will be the actual policy will be created under the policies tab and there will be a certain hierarchy under that only this policy will be created and that will have always a unique name to it if you want you can rename this policy name as well but uh, you have to make sure the same policy need to be updated into every server as well okay and the same policy has to be mapped at your uh, initial or uh, policies of the templates level even you can provide some initial policy as well uh, if you want to customize at that level uh, the basic level of the changes we usually do we usually provide some initial page properties for header and footer experience and we are editing the page policy to allow certain type of component group for that we are using the page policy so for that always you can come at your template level click on the container and this is the policy step so whatever we saw here right page policy the same thing if i go from here also right i will be able to see the same policy okay uh, this is about how to create a template and how to modify your existing template the same thing i will now show at the uh, crx sorry ide level ide level in the sense at our code level let me close all of our file so at code level ui dot content is the module where we have conf folder and if i open the conf folder we have setting wcm policies okay and this is policies for a template if i open the template we have page content query variation i do not have the template just we have created to import that template i have to right click import from am server so i'm using it uh, plugin and the plugin is uh, here let me show you uh, the plugin is am sync uh, let me show you where is the, huh. this is vs code am sync this is the plugin that actually enables my uh, files to be imported or exported between crxd and my id okay so now i have imported i must have got that category page yeah you see the category page now came here okay and all the values of the category page also came with it you can copy one of the existing template type and you modify the values of their cq template resource type you can do that or you can make the changes in your crxd import them into your id that will be the easiest process to creating a template uh, with this we came to at the end of the video there are some more details to the template level i'm not going to very detailed one because uh, i have seen my videos are getting very lengthy uh, in case you need any specific uh, information on the videos uh, any of the specific uh, topic i'll make a specific video on those specific topic uh, with this thank you